Hello, and welcome back to this game. I gotta be honest, I've, I've been sitting here for like a couple minutes trying to say the title of the game, and for some reason I, j I just can't. I just can't today. Quadrilateral Cowboy. Oh man, I just keep like quadrilateral cowboy. Anyway, we're back. And it's actually been a long time for me. It feels like ages. I still feel kind of dead because last weekend I was doing a whole like Steam festival thing where I streamed a bunch of demos from Steam, the Steam event, and I streamed so goddamn much and I like completely drained all my energy and my voice and my brain just like oozed out my ear. And I'm not sure if it's replenished yet, but we left off here in this game just rummaging through my friend's apartment and there was a novel kind of thing or an interactive story to read and I didn't notice last time but like there's a cursor here but then when you move it to the edge of the screen it like stops there which is kind of neat it's like actually the cursor of the screen and yeah everything else is as it was all the tea is gone and whatever all right so let's check out what this interactive story is all about you wake up six miles above the planet. Oh my gosh! You remember you're on an airplane. You breathe a sigh of relief. Eat chili. You snack on your tub of chili. Listen, says the stranger next to you. If one drop of that chili gets onto my $4,000 suit, I'm gonna fork up your face. I'm gonna... Oh, fork up your face until you look like one of those wink wrinkly dogs. Eat more chili. Place a bean on the stranger's sleeve. Place a bean on stranger's head. I'm probably gonna have to try more of these, but let's just eat more chili. You eat more chili. Something in you moves. It's a gentle stirring where the shoulder meets the arm. It's joy. Pure chili joy. What? Where the shoulder meets the arm? Isn't that the shoulder? What do you mean? Like, what? Isn't where your, like, your torso meets the arm is your shoulder? What is between your shoulder and your arm? That's, uh, whatever. Go to the bathroom. You enter the airplane bathroom. Someone has left a book here. Uh, read the book. You read nightmare passages of unspeakable non-Euclidean horror. Lovecraft? You vaguely understand that by reading this, you've plunged the world into darkness. The airplane rips in half. A gaping hole sucks everything out of the passenger cabin. The return to seat light blinks on. Return to seat. You push against the 5,000 mile per hour winds and return to your seat. Buckle seatbelt. Think about that horse. Let's buckle seatbelt. You bu buckle up your seatbelt. A flight attendant is sucked out of the airplane. Call loved one on cell phone. You pull out your cell phone. A flight attendant hangs on for dear life. The flight attendant yells, Excuse me! All portable electronic devices must be turned off during the flight. If this crashes the plane, me turning my phone on... What? If this crashes the plane, me turning my phone on, so be it. That's a weird sentence. Oh, okay, sorry. You put your cell phone away. The plane safely lands. See, says the flight attendant. That's the magic of safety regulations. If more people were like you, the flight attendant is interrupted when everything explodes. Kaboom. You wake up six miles above the planet. Oh my gosh. Okay, eat chili. Put a bean, place a bean on stranger's head. You rest a chili bean on the stranger's head. Well, fidgets the stranger. Okay, that's okay, as long as it's not on the suit. Go to bathroom. Return to seat. Go to bathroom, return to seat, go to bathroom, return to seat. One of these times I'll accidentally hit read book. Oh man, you can't really, like, click as fast as I want. There we go, got it. Return to seat. Think about that horse. You reminisce about the time you met that police horse. Your thoughts are interrupted by the gaping hole in the passenger cabin. Everything gets sucked out of the airplane. Flight attendants, luggage, tubs of chili, and you. Flap arms. You flap your arms in an, in an attempt to fly. It doesn't work. Wake up. You wake up six miles above the planet. On the sleeve. You call down the thunder, says the stranger. Prepare to reap the whirlwind. The stranger's fingers ball up into a meaty fist. Duck, roll, dodge. I duck. Alas, you are not athletic. Exercise is something you've been thinking about. There was that time in July. 
Your cousins visited. They wanted to do something outdoorsy. It felt good to wipe cobwebs off your bike and clack across the pier planks. The stranger's fist smashes your face with the fury of a thousand suns. The passenger cabin rips in half. Buckle seatbelt. Reminisce some more. Oh, police horse. Okay, wake up. Sleeve. Roll. Nope. Buckle seatbelt. Call loved one. So be it. You dial a number on your cell phone, everything explodes. Dodge. Nope. Um, reminisce. No, I did that. That doesn't do anything. Sleeve, duck, buckle, call, okay, kaboom. Well, I guess that's that's everything that I can see here. Yeah. Alright, well, interactive airplane story complete. Now, I think I'm pretty much done here, so we can just get out and, I guess, take off. And yeah, we- oh. We still haven't done the, like, real heist for the last one, but now it seems like I'm not going to, because we have the Weevil. Oh. The Finger Lime fun fun Funicular. Oh, I keep doing that. Just working out. Also, uh, one of the tracks did get claimed. I don't know which one it was, but... I, I figured it would happen eventually, and it did, so I'm probably just gonna keep the music off as much as I can. Guru Meditation, 002F. GOS, device offline or no disk in drive. Insert diskette. So what is this then? Last save, less than a minute ago. If I save, just now. Oh, interesting. It's, it's a save point. I didn't even read that. Well, we bought a save point. And... Skip this mission. Yeah. You can retry. Alright. Finger Lime Funicular. Prep work. Get contract. Research. Observation. World construction. A lot of stuff. Planning. Showtime. Sanity check. Execution. Get paid. Shopping ex expedition. Yeah, it's like we've just done the previous job. Off camera. It just happened. Which is really weird. Why why that would be a thing. And like, if that's a thing, you could just trip the alarms every time and it's fine. Because, oh, you get the 25 minute time penalty, but who cares? You get out and then then you've, you've beaten it. So it's just really weird. I don't understand. Got some more spinal crackers here. All right, well, insert the sket, finger line funicular. Oh, let's read the, the contract as well. Uh, how do I rotate it? Right click? Because this should be a new one, I guess? Impala Solutions, Teletrans 7 Limited. The contractors does hereby assume the risk. That is a weird sentence too. Of any and all personal injuries, including death and property damage. Yeah, this is all the same, I think. It's the same. It's a new place, I believe? Private contractor. It's like a new contract, but it's the same contract, pretty much. In the cage, peg square, ramp scallion. Can you, like, lay down? Ah, whatever, that's fine. Oh, Matryoshka dolls. Oh, didn't want to climb up there, didn't even realize he could. Uh... Yeah, select it on one, I guess, sure. Ice Planner V1.0. Acquire diplomatic pouch in car. Car something? Let me restart, what did it say? Car zero. Okay. So, let's save first, and then open map info. And then see, oh, see what we have here. Uh, lantern, there. Finger lime funicular. Number zero. Notes. Vaults. Data jack. Glass. Glass. Maintenance hat hatch. Get Servidia diplomatic... What? Pouch. From funicular number zero. Weaver XE. Yeah. We know. Auto-execute. We know. That's nothing. 
Yeah, okay. So, not much here. That's extraction. Press tab to view map. Yeah, just, just that. Okay. Oop! Shit. Wrong button. So, I mean, obviously, if I just jump off, I just come back. Crotilda Heavy Lifting Johnson Spur, 4200, 1320. Track Auxiliary. I don't know what that does. Track Zero. Oh, I see. So what if I go, go into, like, one or something? I want to check out one and two. Auxiliary? Oh, I see. That's where I was. So it's just where to go. So if we go here... Hatch open. Oh, I see. And they are too small for anything except the uh, weevil to get in. Alright. I mean, I guess there's no point in me... Uh, fucking around in here, like, getting the weevil in there, or in here, right? Like, what would that do? Do I die here? Yes, I do. Yeah, I, I don't know why I would bother with that, so let's not. Oh, but this is a bigger hatch. This one I can get into. Oh, and this is the vault. I see. There's a fine for tampering. Lone Goosen Gosling. You don't get to choose the people you need to help. Can't read that. Too small. Drink to victory. Maple victory. Alcohol free beverage. That's just a light switch. But this opens this. Let's save here. And I can climb up here, yeah. And just to check, this didn't have... The last one didn't have a hatch I can go in, right? Actually, okay, I'm actually curious. Let's see, because if so, wouldn't this one also have a switch, a data jack, right there? So I could just open this up. So, get my weevil. Oh, I have a CCTV for the weevil, I guess, yeah. So, I mean, I guess just place it on there, and then open it. He's in. And... Then I guess I just place my CCTV in my deck. And then, Weaver... Uh, what was it? Connect... What was he called? I guess I'll need help. Find. Nell. Connect Nell. Yeah. So now I have that, and then it was a uh, stand. Okay, it's I'm facing the wrong way, so turn minus like 160 degrees or so, like not fully 180. Yeah, that seems good. Then go 10. Okay, a little bit more. Go 30. Go. 40. Oh, is there not a data jack? Data jack. Unable to find data jack. Um, hold on. Get out. Oh, it's like, is it too high up for him? Oh, no. Ah, I just wanted to stand there. Also, how do you get the weevil back? If you drop it in here, do you have to just restart the mission? I don't know. Jump, and then also data jack. It jumped. Hmm. Can you look up? You can't look up, right? Not with a weevil. Uh, I can do... what was it? It wasn't FOV, it was, uh... 
Cam Zoom. A hundred. Oh. Two million. Okay, it's uh, 110 is the max and that's the default too? Or maybe it's just remember that from what I had before? I don't know. Can I do like go minus 30? Yeah, to have him back up. Maybe I can jump up on that thing. So if I turn 30, eh, turn like 20 more. Let's do cam zoom like 90. Go. Actually, turn more. Turn 40. Go 20. Something like that. Go 10 more. And then jump. What just happened? Where am I? Stand? Turn 140. I guess I missed. Go minus 40. Jump. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Turn minus 120. Data jack. Come on, it's like it's right there, isn't it? Uh, cam zoom 110. What? Oh, cam zoom 110. Ah, turn 20. Turn 10. Go 30. Turn minus 90. Data jack. God damn. Okay, jump. Wait one second, then data jack zero. Damn! Okay, I thought that might work. Like jumping and doing it in midair, just connecting and unlocking it. Alright, I guess you can't do that. And then I guess we just have to restart, because like I can't get the weevil back in any way. Break. Exit. Yeah. Won't be able to get it back in any way. I swear that is a thing, but I guess it's just too... Too far up for the Weevil, which sucks. I really wanted to open that. Alright, and then just to check, this last one does not have, like, a bigger hatch. It's the same. It doesn't even have a hatch. Weird. Wait. Gate open. Oh. Well, it has that. Huh. Wait, what's in here then? That's weird. It almost feels like you are supposed to be able to do something here. I mean, hell, maybe... Maybe it's just like I'm doing this ahead of time. Maybe it's just mission one is in cart... Zero. Mission 2 is going to be in cart 1, and then this is going to be in cart 3, because all of the previous ones took place in the same building, so I guess I'm just, like, doing things ahead of time, and this cart is supposed to teach you about, like, the jump command. You're supposed to place it here and jump across, maybe, and then access the data jack or something. So, maybe I'm just doing things out of order. Let's just get back and do what we're supposed to right now. Oh, interesting. You, like, maintain momentum when you jump. Good to know. Oh, I guess it's not a data jack. That's why it doesn't work. I mean, maybe it's out of range too, but it's not actually a data jack. It's just a button, and weevils can't press buttons, I don't think. Yeah, hatch open for three seconds. Don't need it. And yeah, I just needed to walk around here. It's simple enough. Just place it here. Place my deck. Place my CCTV, I guess. Weaver. Connect. Nell. Yeah. Go 20. Go 10. Turn 90. Go 100. Look at him go. He's doing it. Go.
go 30. Turn 50. Go 20. Data jack. Vault open. Data jack. Zero. I think I... Nine. Okay. I was gonna say, I think I wrote it wrong. And there we go. Good job, little weaver. Weevil. Diplomatic pouch. Which one did I need? Just Nueva Cyrus, I suppose? Let's save here. So, stash this. So that works. Stash that. Stash, stash. Okay, so it's this one for some reason. Diplomatic pouch. I guess it said... Uh... Servidia diplomatic pouch. Yeah, okay. But now I just have all the pouches. Vinyl man? Sticky note? Wait, what's sticky note? Oh, Shlag! Wow, wait, how does it know I'm Shlag? I guess my Steam name? Huh. This mes message will be read by everyone on your friend list. What? I didn't even know you could write... St ...sticky notes like this. What? What the... Ah, never mind. Enter. And then... Can't I move it? Ah, oh, yeah, wait. Ah, whatever. Great. I don't have any friends that have played this game, but someone will see that at some point. I guess, maybe, at some point in the future. But yeah, I guess we'll just stash everything. And can't I just place the extraction point F6 beneath sky? It is beneath sky. Ah, I guess it's not. Okay, fair enough. Ah, all right. Fair enough. Got to get back to auxiliary. Cool. Global average 122. This time global average actually works. Last time global average like said nothing, right? So yeah, I can I can do that faster, I guess, but doesn't really matter. And yeah, I guess that's it. In the cage. Diplomatic pouch in car zero nine hundred dollar payment. And then we just go to one peg square. Acquire diplomatic pouch in car one. Yeah, exactly. So it's just like and then Car 2, I suppose. So you just get them in each one, and each of them teach you something about using the Weevil. So it's just kind of a little tutorial thing. Huh. Makes me wonder if we'll ever, like, actually get difficult things? Like, so far it's just teaching you step by step about the things you have access to. And it's really not that bad. But I would like it to get a little more complicated eventually. So we'll see. But I'll leave it off there. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!